Similarly, if we take benzene, benzene, you know how it looks. Six member ring having three pi bonds. Now benzene has three pi bond. And if I'm going to attempt and do ozonolysis on this, first of all, you have to be careful to carry out ozonolysis on benzene ring because benzene ring is a aromatic cyclic ring and aromaticity brings about the highest amount of stability in organic chemistry. So benzene ring is a stable ring. Generally carrying out ozonolysis on such a ring will not be easy as we did in case of acyclic ring and cyclic ring non-aromatic rings. But nevertheless, if we take the reaction condition to extreme and we carry out ozonolysis, then there are three pi bonds. So you will carry out ozonolysis on all the pi bonds. So you will break this pi bond like this, you'll break this pi bond like this, and you'll break this pi bond like this. You will carry out ozonolysis on all the three pi bonds. So now three sections are going to be carved out of this benzene. From this part, so let me number this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, carbon number one and carbon number six is going to come out as one part because you are cleaving the pi bond from here and you are cleaving the pi bond from here. So, carbon number one and carbon number six are going to form C double bond O like this. Carbon number four and carbon number five are also going to come out and they are going to form C double bond O like this. One, six, five, four. And carbon number two and carbon number three are going to come out as a separate molecule forming C double bond O. This is two and this is three. So the benzene ring will be divided into three sections like this, each section forming one, two ethane diol. So one molecule of benzene will give us three molecules of ethane one, two diol like this. And that's evidently clear that should be the case because you are breaking all three pi bonds. So this uh, five is going to detach from six and four is going to detach from three. But five and four are bonded by sigma bond. So they're going to be together. So five and four will be together. Similarly, one and six will be together and two and three will be together. And this will be the product. Fine. Fine. Now suppose I have toluene. Now you got to this one right on your own. If you have to learn ozonolysis, you do the same as I did for benzene and the entire molecules as of, of the product would be similar except for toluene getting attached to one of the carbon. Since you don't have toluene here on carbon number one, toluene will be attached to carbon number one and rest entire of the product will be the exactly the same. So try this on your own in order to gain confidence over writing the product of ozonolysis reaction. So I'm writing it for you anyway, but I'm trusting you that you'll do it on your own. Otherwise, otherwise, what would happen is you will not learn this reaction. Although you listen to me, but you will not learn this reaction unless you do it on your own. So if you break it on, break it into three halves, this, this, this is how, if you see this and this is similar to that when we got for benzene and except for this case, because there's CS3 attached to carbon number one. So in product also that CS3 will appear. So this is how it will be broken into three sections like this. Fine. Let's come to the final problem in the series. Suppose I extend the same idea. And I take one, two dimethyl benzene. Now, in this case, if I'm carrying out ozone lysis reaction similar to that I have carried out up till now, what would be the product? You try this on your own. This is very important that you tried this on your own. And this is a problem of ITJ. So you must try this on your own. Write the product and then listen to what I have to say. If we have to carry out the ozonolysis reaction, so we're going to do the same thing as we did before. So we are going to cleave each of the pi bond and we are going to give a double bond with oxygen to each of the carbon that was making pi bond previously in the substrate. That's the rule. That's what we have been doing up till now. That's what we would do to this substrate as well. So let me number this once again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now look at carbon number five 
and carbon number 4. On cleavage of the bond, carbon number 5 is going to be detached from carbon number 6 and carbon number 4 is going to be detached from carbon number 3 and they are going to be bonded by a sigma bond. So carbon number 5 and carbon number 4 are going to appear as a separate entity in this product like this. Each of them are making C double bond O. Fair enough. So this is one of the product. Similarly, if you see to carbon number 3 and 2, they are going to be together forming C double bond O with a methyl on carbon number 2 because it is in the substrate. So one of the product would be like this. Similarly, if you see carbon number 6 and carbon number 1, carbon number 1 is going to have a methyl and it is going to be attached with carbon number 6 forming C double bond O each. 1 and 6. This is how they are in ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, you would expect them to be the product and uh, that is a legitimate expectation because that's what we have done up till now. But there's a twist and there's a flip side to this problem. These are the correct products and if the question in J was asked uh, and, the, and the, the phrasing of the question was like this, how many ozonolysis products you want to get when you carry out ozonolysis on 1,2-dimethylbenzene. This is 1,2-dimethylbenzene. They are interested in the number of products. So as per now, we have got two types of products. These two being the same. We have three molecules, but the type of products are two. One is 1,2-ethane-diol and other one is 1,2-propane-diol. Now these two both are 1, 2 propane diol, so they will be counted as one type and this is counted as one type. So they are two types of products. But uh, you have to be cautious and as I have told you in future past and I'm telling you again, whenever you see a cyclic ring with pi bond, you have to think about aromaticity and when you think about aromaticity, you have to think about resonance. because. You see, suppose I have a benzene ring and I name the positions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, if you look at this benzene ring, there's a double bond between 1, 2, there was a double bond between 3, 4 and there's a double bond between 5, 6. But from the concept of resonance that we studied, we know that actually those double bonds are not stagnant between 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6. In aromaticity, these pi bonds goes in a complete cyclic uninterrupted delocalization. That means they are not stagnant like double bond here, single bond here. They, there is a uniform electronic density throughout the cyclic ring. So because of resonance, the pi bond shifts from 1, 2 position to 2, 3 position. And if, we, if I draw a resonating structure, all those pi bonds will be shifted to the position where previously there was a single bond. Like Previously, there was a double bond between 1, 2, single bond between 2, 3. Now, there is a single bond between 1, 2, double bond between 2, 3. So, that is the resonating structure and the real structure is a mixture of both of them having neither double bond nor single bond at any position but a double bond character at each position. This is what we studied when we studied resonance. Now, here there is a classic example of this phenomena of resonating structure. Now look, here we are cleaving double bond, right, between 1 and 2. But we know that there is no double bond between 1 and 2, there is a double bond character. And we are not cleaving between 2 and 3 because there is a sigma bond and we are not cleaving sigma bond, we are cleaving double bond. But we also understand from the concept that we studied and we just revised that between 2 and 3 there is no single bond, there is a double bond character. So bond between 1 and 2 is identical to bond between 2 and 3. So we can't differentiate like this that we are breaking between 1, 2 but we are not breaking between 2, 3. For the convenience of the reaction we use these resonating structures but we do understand that they are hypothetical and the real structures are resonance hybrid. And in the resonance hybrid if I draw it here, all the bonds will be identical and there will be a double bond character at each pi bond at, at each position. So if we, this is a resonating structure of 1, 2 dimethyl benzene and actually all the positions are same. So what you got to do is when ozone is going to come and react, it can get attached to any of the positions because they are the same. So you do the cleavage from here, but you also do the cleavage from here. Not in this structure, in the next structure where 
we will draw pi bond between 2 and 3. So let me draw that for you. If I do draw a resonance hybrid, So the there's a double bond between 1 and 2. Now we keep a single bond. There's a single bond between 2 and 3. Now we keep a double bond. And we move on like this. So the positions of single bond and double bond has been exchanged. Now if I attempt to carry on ozone lysis, now I'll carry on ozone lysis between 2 and 3. Now previously, my eyes were seeing a single bond between 2 and 3. Now I'm seeing a double bond between 2 and 3. So the concept is, Actually, you have to carry out ozone lysis at each possible position where there can be a double bond by the virtue of resonance. This is a point that you must understand and this is very important and this is where you will appreciate the concept of resonance that we studied. Fine. So, so you got to carry out ozone lysis on both the resonating structures and that will give us all kind of possible products. So if I carry out ozone lysis on this structure or if you carry out ozone lysis on this structure, what you would get is similar. I'm, I'm drawing it straight away. We got enough practice and you do it on your own and just match from my answer. You'll get this. From this side, you'll get 1 to within dial. From this side, you'll get 1 to within dial, similar to what you have got in for this case. But from this side, you'll get 1, you, you will get 1, 2 butane, you'll get 2, 3 butane dial. Or rather, you'll get 2, 3 butanone. And in this case, see, you didn't get 2, 3 butanone. So if you're going to report the type of products just from this reaction, you're going to miss this one, which is 2, 3 dibutanone because in this case if you see 1 and 2 are going to be attached to each other in this case 1 and 2 was detached by breaking of the spy bond in this case 1 and 2 will be attached to each other and methyls are attached to carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 so they are going to, both of the methyl are going to appear in the same product so which was missing in this case so altogether if you count the type of product there are three types of products and the answer would be three to the asked question so the bottom line of the whole discussion is whenever you have a cyclic ring you will carry out ozone lysis on all the possible positions that will have double bond via resonance from any of the resonating structure and that's how you would appreciate why we studied resonance and that give you the real picture of the real distribution of pi bond in the ring because when we draw it like this that's not the real distribution the real distribution is it is equally distributed throughout the ring so we have to account for that and accordingly we have to carry out ozone lysis on both the resonating structures if there are three possible resonating structures you have to carry out ozone lysis on all the possible resonating structures because that's how you th th because that's the re that gives the real distribution of the pi bond and ozone lysis occurs on double bond character the bond which is having double bond character so each of the rs is going to give double bond character on a new position so you have to carry out ozone lysis on each of the rs fine so that's complete the discussion on ozone lysis and uh, now we'll solve so what we have done up till now i have given you the substrate and i have asked you for the product what could be asked is you may be given the product and you may be asked to trace back the substrate which is giving those product on ozone analysis.